Welcome to Silverstone and the third round of the International GT Open. After close racing in Paul Ricard and Estrell, it is time for the high speed straights and swoops of the home of the British Grand Prix. Terry Martin, McLaren, which led the way into Cops Corner in the first race at Silverstone. In glorious weather, we were treated to some brilliant scrapping from the cars of the International GT Open. The drivers enjoying the wide expanses of the fast home of the British Grand Prix. Now in the case of James Abbott in the Radical RXC, maybe pushing a little bit harder than he'd have liked. Shown very, very strongly was Varo Barber, Anton Neblitsky in the ART. Lamborghini Neblitsky mounting a stout defensive drive in the second half of the race to keep Michele Rugolo and Phil Keane behind him, eventually Rugolo forcing the move on the Lamborghini. As out front, Miguel Ramos reeled in and then powered past Nicola Bonucci in the late stages. Teo Martin Motorsport McLaren had figured strongly in the opening quartet of races through the season. But this was the opportunity for them to build the top step of the podium. While the Ezekiel Paris Compact Raffaele Giamaria and of course rode demoted late on by Michele Rugolo passing the Thoras. So it was victory, Miguel Ramos and Alvaro Perez, the light Mateo Martin Motorsport McLaren squad, giving them another excellent result in the championship. Runners up for Balzan and Benucci with the Thoras and Rugolo to complete the podium. It was good, you know. Uh, I'm very happy for for us all, for Teo Miguel. We we've been leading in Estoril. Um, we could have already had a victory there, and uh, finally we we have it here. It doesn't matter, and uh, and now it's good, you know. We it's, we've been working hard, and um, first position uh, today. My stint was uh, was good. We had the pace all the time. Um, a little bit of, uh, of uh, setup changes for tomorrow, but not much because we're, we're looking very good. And just uh, just happy for the new team, you know, for for Teo Martin, for for McLaren GT, for Miguel, and, and for myself. It was uh, the objective was to catch number three, so without making mistakes. And uh, it was everything according to plan. In the right moment, I arrived to him, and I didn't uh, gave a chance, so just finish it, and then it was uh, relaxing at the three laps to the end. race two and it was home man Phil Keane who led the way in the Balcomo Sport Ferrari through Cops for the first time and as it's showing strongly it was the Poro Ferrari and Ilona Lopez and Matthias Russo looking to build on their Estoril victory but the car running wide in the early stages and that allowed Ilya Melnikov and yeah of course Ferrari to climb Yoda Melnikov the Russian having one of his finest performances of the season Behind the Thoris and Rugolo in pursuit of more championship points, Salvaro Prent looked to side through the field later on in the race. Also looking for another solid result were Alessandro Balzan and Nicola Bonucci in the Velour the Course Ferrari. They did battle with the Lopez and Russo Ferrari lap after lap. Eventually it was the Velour the Course Ferrari which was able to prevail. Also shown very strongly Raffaele Giamaria Catching Sean Balf late on, Jiraria and Ezekiel Perez Compton looking for their second victory of the season, and that pass from Jiraria was sufficient to give Jiraria and Perez Compton the win at Silverstone and bring them very much into the championship fight. Sean Balf and Phil Keane delight to be on the podium, and likewise for Balzan and Bonucci. So they of course Ferrari, their second triumph of the season. A home podium for Balfour and Keane, with Minucci and Balzan once more completing the rostrum as the circus heads on to the Red Bull Ring. And second win of the year after a perfect race. Perfect race, a big uh, thank you to the qualifi qualifying of uh, Ezekiel because he did a very great job yesterday. 
We had, uh, since Friday, a lot of problems with the setup. We try to improve. The engineer did a very, also the mechanics, a very good job. And today, in his quali, the car was good. Uh, with his uh, first uh, appearance in uh, Silverson with GT3, he did a very uh, good lap time and then in the race uh, was perfect. So the race pace was good and so the double win in Esoril and here. And so I think that we are the, the team, the equipe that uh, obtain two wins until now. So I think good for the, for the overall championship. I'm really happy. Uh, Rafa already told everything, so just gonna say that uh, race by race, we will be getting quicker, quicker, and uh, expect us to be fighting in the in the championship. And uh, now to celebrate and to enjoy, and do that McDonald's at night to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, so it's great, great, great.